So here we are together, people out with us out in you know, apparently some other place, but completely connected through time and space. I feel to invite, um, if people have, uh, if it comes to heart, people who you'd like to include uh, in support of them in some sort of healing, we won't know how it shows up, but we can uh, include them in heart here, consciously and by voice, and it can support them to more happiness in their own set of details happening. Um if there's somebody who comes to heart that you'd like to include. Uh, there's someone? Just to say their name. Simon. Simon. Okay. Anyone else? Jan. Jan, right? Keith and Ken. Keith and Ken. And their no, names? No. Uh, Kailash and Nebula. Kailash and Nebula? Okay, beautiful. Did you say something? Don't matter. Okay. I second it. Okay. And Jerry and Dawn? Later for them. No, no. <laughs> I'll include them. So, you know, just like this, we can share this vibration by simply including them in heart. And then adding our voice to it uh, brings another layer, right? Because there's whatever's happening inside, and then we say it out loud. It's heard not only by us, by awareness. Um, that's that's the beauty of being able to share ourselves. Um, so it becomes even more uh, tangible uh, and direct. So, so we're here for now for letting perhaps these sounds, if it feels appropriate to you, to allow these sounds to be in support of uh, your own set of details of living um, in an even more enjoyable way. Does that sound like something that you could say yes to? All right. It's only just saying yes. It's not about thinking about how would life be more enjoyable or anything like that. It's just a yes right now. And then with your yes inside, the sounds will be with you in support of that. And so once again, we'll, uh, there'll be a few sounds, um, and then we'll uh, sit in some silence, not, not quite as much as this morning or earlier, um, but just so people know that you will have some space to uh, be with whatever's happening for a little bit, just in the silence. Okay.
Okay. I wondered a little bit about this part <laughs> where we sit in silence and how that would be webcast. <laughs> but there's nothing happening. <laughs> Test, test, test. <laughs> Something's happened. <laughs> I feel like I've just been chosen to anchor the nightly news or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sing on American Idol. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> I'm finding my mind coming up an awful lot today. Awful lot. <laughs> awful lot. <laughs> 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 um, and it's just like it, this is pretty consistent actually it's not so different today than any other day but the, a lot of like um, kind of speculating and judging and I just want so much to let go of it. No, I don't. I mean, so I, so I see like there's this resistance in myself to all of this talk in, in side. Where is the resistance? Is it here? Right now? Hmm. 
there's a kind of frustration right now. I don't know. If... Whereabouts? Well, it kind of, it kind of feels like it's up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. No right to open to it. Just with curiosity. It's funny because it feels like, um, I was kind of saying this last night, I feel like I'm this um, like train on this course, um, on this track. And it's like all of a sudden the track has just gone off in a completely different direction. And none of the rules that used to apply mm -hmm. or the, you know, I including like everything I've learn to believe about how to think about myself and the world and it's like all it's all different all the rules are different now but i'm this train and i'm on this track um you know and it, it appears that i've like veered off in this direction but it sometimes i just feel like oh okay i'm on this track now and i'm going in this direction but um I'm still sometimes thinking with the old rules and there's a frustration there. And a confusion because at a certain different time I would have um, had, had different things to say about you know, all, all of the things that I'm kind of seeing and perceiving. And now it's like, you know, some of those thoughts are still there, but I'm obviously, I'm like pulled along on this track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is there a part that's believing in the thoughts? Probably still. Yeah. Because they're, because they're bothering me. They're not just, um, You know, it's they're not just uh, pesky things that I can that it feels easy to brush away. Mm -hmm. So what happens? You you know the story of Buddha under the tree, right? So so as he's under the tree, what came to tempt him? All the demons, all that you know, mm -hmm. it, it becomes in such a way, and it'll be in yeah. your particular flavor to tempt you to believe in it, to keep right. giving your attention to what the mind has to offer. Right. And that gets, as far as I've heard, and in my own direct experience, can get quite accentuated so that, it, you know, and and yeah. yet at the same time, uh, just letting it be there. Right. Um, that that's part of the shift. And in, in not engaging in them right so it's not following the loop of them noticing that they're there and you can even say i see you there right very crafty mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so it's very crafty how it shows up well it's and it's um I, again i feel like i'm really starting to get that i have no control and this is just happening um but on the other hand i also spent you know like a good number of years um, piling on like the conditioning and the education and the all this stuff that f now it feels like I'm trying to drop or it feels like it's it's wanting to be dropped mm -hmm. and um, so I it's like there's a certain um, it almost feels like I worked really hard for a long time to develop a certain agility or kind of critical thinking thing mm -hmm. and now that's both helping me and getting in my way and i feel like i'm constantly like running loops around myself like 
if um so perfect <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect really you see so the, frustrating. the whole but like as you as you maneuver and play and, and go through these you know oh this oh this oh my goodness yeah. you know how perfectly it's suited to you personally right it's coming yeah. from you to you about you <laughs> yeah in the particular flavor for for you finding your way with yourself you're going to throw particular pieces in there so that right. as you are with them however is appropriate right so it's really getting okay here's this thought and it has it repeated in the same similar way or you know something similar about it. it might show up with a few different words right then to open to that okay okay I'm going to just give you some space, you know, write it down, mm. be with it and see, does it have any play in yeah. the, in the rest of the mm. system, in the body? Is there some energy that's connected to that? And if there isn't, it, it usually is that if, if it's repeating, there'll be some way that that thought is attached to this system and it'll mm -hmm. be a perfect gift, mm -hmm. perfect gift. So it's not, you know, as if there's an attempt to get away or to, get rid of the thoughts that is that physics force again and as soon as it's like oh you you know that push away is equal to what right. the thoughts will be how much more present and how right. much more forceful or energy they'll have so either there'll be nothing it'll be like a cloud going by you know or the wind tossed your hair when you came in from the car mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right it just mm -hmm. happened mm -hmm. but the wind tossing your hair you know, if it was really irritating somehow, right? <laughs> then there's a gift. Mm -hmm. Something's inviting you, and you're that one that's inviting yourself. Even in this. So would um, one of the things that seems tricky about this, but I mean, it's probably no different than any other issue anybody has. But it 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 feel it it all happens up here and it feels like a hamster wheel that's just going around and around. And so one of the difficult things about it is that I can I can be spinning for a while before I even notice that it, you know, I can be mm -hmm. doing something else. I can be doing something apparently very involved, but this is still going. So is, would you advocate kind of stopping and checking in as soon as I notice this is happening, because I, I think sometimes I try to just work it out as I'm going along, but it's, it's, I'm just adding to the. Mm -hmm. Well, confusion. it depends if it's interfering with what is, you know, uh, I mean, you're noticing it, but is it actually interfering uh, with the play of events or not, you know? And if it's mm -hmm. not, then it's not, it's like, mm -hmm. like I say, the cloud going by, mm -hmm. it's like, um, uh, whatever it is like you say that you're involved in the activity and it's you're with that and that's still happening and still this is it's like the hum of a refrigerator oh. you know sometimes the hum of the refrigerator does interfere and so then it's like okay let's just you know move to another place or yeah. whatever so it's it's in in the moment mm -hmm. what you know is it in the way if not then I think there's this feeling in me that, like, let's say this is the hum of the refrigerator. If this hum is around for, like, I'm never going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hang on to that for a while and see what happens. <laughs> Whatever making it is. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, I know. I, I mean, I judged that thought, too, but before it was out of my mouth. But how sweet, right? Right, I'm right. going to make it. What are you making? Oh, you're making yeah. this wonderful cake. Yeah, right. The cake is not going to bake if that refrigerator is humming. That's what it feels like. You're ready for baking, are you? No. I don't know. I don't know, wh I don't know where I am. So anything in a, in a generalized way, right, to look at yeah. it all at once, you know, that's, so. that's part of the mind wanting to categorize and conceptualize mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. right? But in each moment of whatever's happening, it's so much easier to be with, right? So, but if you're looking at it from, oh, sometimes, you know, the mind spins and there's this hamster wheel and it's like, right. you know, that becomes something quite a bit more to be with because it's spread over time. 
Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's like just going, okay, <laughs> just this moment. Is mm -hmm. it interfering? Mm -hmm. If it is, where is it connected? Mm -hmm. Giving yourself the space to feel the connection mm -hmm. and carry on. There's this question that comes up, which may be related, um, which is, um, the, it feels like it, I was just going along with my life, doing what I was doing until fairly recently. And then there was this real pull. And then I read some stuff and I watched some stuff and there was a whole period of time but like the pull got stronger and stronger. And I think maybe in this, all of this um, thought activity, there is still a kind of, there's, there's a kind of doubt that it's like somebody said last night, you know, am I going crazy? There's that thought that kind of goes through their system. Am I going crazy because I'm, I'm pulled in this direction and then there's, there's like my heart feels pulled. Um, but it's also completely disrupted the old, old patterns. Um, so I guess my question is the pull is good, right? <laughs> the pull is true, right? Yeah. Good or bad, yeah. Whatever right. you know, it's like it's like bad, yeah. I don't know what it's if it's good or bad, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not everybody's way, right. right? But for me, that that is the only way. That's all I've got, right? right? It's like after this whole thing, you're asking mm -hmm. Isaac, well, well, now what? I didn't expect this to happen. What what happens now? I I was ready for years of seeking. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just wanted to be all happen. over. I was, you know, yeah. like this is so great. I've got something to go for, right? <laughs> you know, and it was like, oh, it's so good to have that longing and that pull, and just like absolutely defined. Yes, I'm going this way. I don't care what happens. I'm going to do it, hundred percent, right. right? And feeling that degree of yes and direction, and it was like so wonderful to have a set direction. And then all of a sudden, it just, oh, wow happened mm -hmm. okay and then getting it adjusted to living without a direction except for what shows up and in the yeah. play and and the next thing happens and you know it's like the the i don't know if we mentioned that last, last night but this email that richard had sent in 2009 mm -hmm. that i didn't see until october 2010 right mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm yeah. like, didn't even know. Um, you know, he said, "Ah, oh, well, you take a little while to get back to." <laughs> and it's, and uh, I didn't even realize it was from 2009, but it showed up mm -hmm. when it did, and it started this other uh, play of events. That now here we are, mm -hmm. right? And so the direction comes to you. It's like almost underneath your foot, mm -hmm. and so then the, the foot lands. Sometimes the foot is falling and it doesn't even appear like there's anything mm -hmm. to land on. Mm -hmm. And then it's trust. Right. And so far, the pull of the heart has not, it's totally led me astray. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully. And uh, ultimately, towards itself, towards love. Yeah. And um, there is a dedication here for that, whatever that means. I mean, right. I, I like, okay, how pompous, you know, you're going to support love as if mm. love needs your support. Ah, you know, mm. <laughs> and it's like, nevertheless, it's not, it's just what, it's just what it's dedicated to. And, right. and that is the most true thing. Um, and how can I be that to the best of my ability, no matter what's happening? Right. Yeah. I think, well, you just said that you have, you had found this like um, goal to seek for or this seeking and that you that was like some there was some energy in that and then all of a sudden there was nothing to seek for and I think that's that's part of the thing with me too is like it's very I'm, I mean I feel very much um, seeking right now or or like being pulled in this direction that I'm moving toward actively but um, I have no idea what it's what it is to be 
I have no like experience that I can remember what it is to be without that feeling of a going towards a goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> you know, and the goal might be what's for dinner. <laughs> You know, and then you check out with your body. What does the body feel like? Or, you know, somebody might, you know, say, hey, do you want to go for coffee? And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Right. And then there's some direction. It just comes in a different form, um, but it doesn't come in the old way at all. And so there's not, uh, see, and that's a false safety, right? Yeah. The old way is a false uh, sense of security. Um, and when it's shed, you know, that's the vulnerableness. You don't get to know. If somebody asks you, well, how are you doing? It's like, well, let me see. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, how is life with my family? What's happening to my body? You know, <laughs> how are you being? Hmm, okay. Because <laughs> uh, those questions are, are old, you know, they're geared towards what do you do in your life and how successful are you? And uh, have you attained... Uh, all the uh, toys uh, or, you know, presentations of yourself. Um, and it's not that those things don't, don't happen anymore. Yeah, I can say I'm a, I'm a best-selling author. What does that feel like? Um, nothing. <laughs> but yeah, there's this book and there was this whole process that happened and, oh, cool, you know. And, but I know before, that I had an idea that maybe that would, you know, before all this uh, shift, that uh, being an author looked like something solid, that mm -hmm. then, oh, okay, well, then that would be the thing. But uh, it's not. I think, like, the, that's part of the difficulty is my, my mind wants to project forward because I'm in the process of, like, really making some changes in the next year and stepping away from work for a while. And um, partly because I just like, I just need to, I need the space for a while. Mm -hmm. And there's this, this feeling of like, um, well, what am I, I mean, what am I gonna be? I have to be something. <laughs> Here you are. And then, then there's a, then, there, then I'm criticizing that thought because I think, no, I don't have to be anything. But there is this kind of weird gap of like, well, I've always worked towards something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> That's for dinner. <laughs> That's right. You know, it's, uh, I guess for me, then it's love, right? Yeah. Uh, working toward it. I don't know. Allowing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do I, in this yeah. one, how, how, how is love how can I allow more love here? Or, um, you know, most often it's just in play and I'm with it and witnessing it as it's happening. And it's mm -hmm. like in this simultaneous moment that it appears that I'm being loving. I mean, my goodness, I'm being loved. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it's no longer a giving of love. <laughs> it's completely receiving the love that's here and a side effect is it looks kind of loving mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> you know and it is you know because it's allowed but it's allowed because i'm allowing myself to feel being loved mm -hmm. love happening and uh And trusting in love when there's nothing there. Yeah. And sure enough, something will happen, right? Nothing out of nothing, something occurs. Mm -hmm. Again and again and again. And it's like that's what it seems to be. It's coming to nothing, and then something emerges and rises, and oh, mm -hmm. okay. And then mm -hmm. the next play of events follow their way through till they're. Right kaput and uh, uh, oh okay well I kind of like that play oh well <laughs> it's done now what you know and uh, what does the heart call for mm -hmm. and if the universe isn't ready for what the heart calls for then there is a, like a patience that's being mm -hmm. called for mm -hmm. 
like for quite some time I've been feeling drawn to return to India um, just to say thank you mm-hmm. for all that happened before I was aware of all the gifts that happened there mm-hmm. and somehow it linked to me and I can even you know, feel the gratitude just mm-hmm. squeezing me this uh, mm-hmm. it's linked to the actual ground of India mm-hmm. and uh, it's just how it shows up for me so what can I do? It's just the truth. Mm-hmm. But saying it on the air, I still have a smidgen of like, well, maybe now I'll get to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But so far I get invited for Indian food or <laughs> 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 sort of thing. <laughs> and, you know, and there's, it's with yeah. me, of course, it's with me, yeah. you know, and, uh, mm-hmm. and there's something with being there too. Mm-hmm. I trust it'll happen when it does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in any time in these moments, in this journey, you know, feel free to uh, include this energy, whatever that means, you know, of Canela. If there's a support in that, to let it be with you uh, in support of being true to Mm -hmm. love in this expression. Mm -hmm. Um, If that ever occurs, that's your welcome to the energy. And that's the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. That uh, if it just occurs. And that's how Papaji and Ramana and Isaac and, Mm -hmm. you know, in body or out of body, that's, they appear and they let me lean on them uh, Mm -hmm. in a a way, or I'm, I get held and, Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Yeah. So at some point um, when I discovered, well, when I found my way to Ramana, I got a big picture, like everybody has their big picture. Him and sometimes I just sit in front of it in the morning to meditate because I feel like it's like there's just something like there's something in him speaking right through me. So what's happening now, Bill? Hmm? What's happening over there in your world? Oh, how is it going? Mm-hmm. Like, what's it? What are you experiencing right now? If you, uh... um, doesn't like we're not really moving too fast. Mm-hmm. So that's part of our play. So it has to be realized some way. Mm-hmm. 
towards a quiet, hmm? a quiet place. Oh, there's lots of energy. Yeah. Um, You know, when I look, is there's a, a heartfelt energy, and it seems to squeeze tears out of my eyes. <laughs> it rises, and uh, there's a sweetness of uh, being here, and curiosity. Uh, and an enjoyment in that you kind of turned the tables around and asked me the question. <laughs> Is it a smile with well, that? It's, no, it's, it's really nice if you can do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So if you look in what's happening in your body right now, yeah. is there anything happening there? What's... Not so much. No? Is that rest? Or when you say not so much, is there a little bit of something somewhere? Yeah, right. Yeah? I think it would be useful. Mm-hmm. What's useful? Well, to look at ourselves. See what's going on. We can make sense certain things out of it. We're still not wanting to go that way. So if we start doing things that aren't really uh, very smart, we all have our brains, you know, part of it's that. I wouldn't say don't do it, but uh, what about you? In what way? In what way? Yeah, because you had said something was useful, so I was asking. What's that? You had said something was useful, so I was asking what was useful, and yeah, you, right. you answered that. Right, right. right. So, what do you think? Uh, what do I feel? Yeah. Um, that in listening to what you said, that that was beautiful. Um, I wonder you know, about, and a gratitude too, about you being willing to share yeah. that. And the easiness. Mm-hmm. Or anything else that you'd like to share? Mm, 
anything about how your world is these days? And What's that? Anything that you'd like to share about yeah. how your world is these days and what it's like to be Bill? Mm-hmm. You do have something to share about that? Or no? What were you saying? Just how is... What's it like being Bill? Your Bill. My Bill, yeah. Yeah. Because things have been changing for you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And if you felt to, you could go and sit in the... What's that? If you wanted to go and sit in one of the other chairs, okay. that would be good. Yeah. Okay. Or the floor. Or the floor. Chair or floor. Or the floor, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you eyeing that chair? <laughs> the chair is available there. Or, of course, the mic is available there, too. Richard's really maestro. He's the boss. <laughs> He's the boss, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have to obey. <laughs> Is it okay now that the mic's with you? It's okay. Whatever is happening here is okay, but it's not too, like, peaceful. Okay. Too easy. All right. All right. So what's happening? Not then? easiness is okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. Not easy. Can I say this? Yeah. yeah. And then we can look at whatever is here, right? Because something's provoked alive. Because mm -hmm. that's wonderful if something's provoked alive. Right. We get to be with it. So tell me a little bit about what's provoked alive right now. That camera again. The camera. Oh. <laughs> the lovely provoker. The whole universe is with you right now. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, the whole universe is with you anyway, right? Hmm. You're open to that. You can, you know. Interesting concept. Yeah. And just check it out right here and just being in touch with the whole structure of what appears to be the body and the energy field. And... Uh, to see if you can feel awareness being with you. Mm -hmm. Being aware of you. You're very alive. Yes. Field. Like yes. I'm it's in a, a spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's aliveness. It's yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I was going to ask you a question. If, um, someone um, has specific the qualities like pers personal mm -hmm. like being slower or being um, not as smart is it when when that person realized that uh, it's there is no person is here and but it still play the same game the same mm -hmm. pattern right mm -hmm. 
So when I'm, because I always think, oh my God, I'm going to be like become free, and then, you know, oh yeah, I become a different person, like right. more like I would like to yeah, who be would you like to, to be do like? <laughs> many things at at the same time, like oh. multitasking, and it never be I I was never be able to accomplish. Oh, oh yeah. But <laughs> well, let, let's look at this. Let, let's look yeah. at this, okay? Because right here, right now. Mm -hmm. There's an incredible amount of happenings happening, right? There's sound. Just, I, I feel, feel mm -hmm. aliveness. Like, yes, I feel aliveness and sound. You're hearing. Hearing is happening. Mm -hmm. See, oh, yes. Seeing is happening. Right. Breathing is happening. Digestion is happening. Yeah. Felt sense of the body is happening. I, I don't know what you're talking about, this multitasking not happening. <laughs> Right. Maybe the task part isn't here. <laughs> we have to add <laughs> the, the task. task. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, go ahead. Pump the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Make it right, a task. In my brain, Make it a like, task. Right? Yeah. Well, you can, actually. You know, you can. You know, it, it does magnify the blood to imagine the blood going through the brain tissue. Yes, sure. but it's a lot of work. Uh, on well, that's the task part, right? Mm -hmm. And you were saying you would like the task. <laughs> right. I would like to be able to, yeah, to do. You'd like to be able to, and that isn't what's happening? I see. I see now <laughs> that it, it's already happening. It's already happening. Very, and even more than what I just pointed to in those few moments, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we are like holding an incredible... this microphone is right. happening. Yeah. Yeah. Being afraid of the cameras happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I'm here. Yes. Like, yes. I'm so the dying. other, right, that being able to have some way that it's going to look is an idea. Mm -hmm. Right? This idea, well, you know, after this awakening, then right. I'll be able to, you know, be all these things that I see perhaps in someone else that. This is my don't favorite thought. Your favorite thought. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Not that I invited, but it's yes. appeared yeah. a lot. Yeah. See, the tricky part of being human, too, is, is in the comparing. Because, I mean, earlier you had said something about uh, Allowing. whether or not you were more slow, you were more fast, or if there was more smart or more dumb. Mm -hmm. Those only can be out of comparison. Right. Because there only is what there is, right? But so, something is, is comparing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's it's those are, are just comparing happening. Mm -hmm. With it's not true that you cannot compare this mm -hmm. that you are. Right? There isn't any other you. So there really isn't any way to compare it in any kind of um commonality. Mm -hmm. Because there's only this one you. What would you be comparing to? <laughs> to apparent others. Right, or how it's supposed to look, these ideas. Mm -hmm. So it's just noticing ideas come. Right. And then relaxing open to what is here, this wonderful woman. And as she is more and more acknowledged and given more and more space, just as she is, right. all of these, um, you know, the ideas. Conceptions. And, well, they, they come from source too, the ideas. Right, as everything does. Mm -hmm. um, so they they show up, but they show up differently, and then and then in the happening, you'll see. Oh, look at that! I, multitasking happening. I am just spiffy. <laughs> <laughs> Spiffiness <laughs> happening. Um, mm -hmm. So they do appear, but they show up differently in this letting go of being in control. The more we attempt to create that to happen, the less likely. Right, but the space they would not even occur to you if it wasn't possible. Right. So the beauty is is really going for trust of yourself. This amazing woman that's already here that is comparable to nothing. The woman's body, not, not the, the personality. Woman, but just body this happening is this this part of one of the oneness. Right? It's in expression like this. We've been given this system, the energetic system, this physical system, this brain tissue, this way of character, 
you know, the color of your eyes. It's all been just given. Here it is. And there isn't another like this. Mm. Yeah. Ever. Mm. Never will be. Never has been. In all time. Just this moment. This this experience of being human. Mm. Beautiful. It, it totally. So you see, this is why this is this is it. <laughs> you know, that's what I see. This is this is all. Wow. And uh, so yeah. there is. Yeah, there isn't a comparing, but there can be a trust. And so when this idea of who you will be. Uh, is already it's actually I know already it's here. stupid but yeah 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 I, I wanted to it's beautiful I don't know about to share this yes yes what, that's what's happening yeah I'm interested in that you call it stupid that's because I am like mm, <laughs> my vocabulary not uh, that great that's not my it's my second language okay so, yeah. English okay. yeah so I am kind of you know, yeah. saying something but it may be something else. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Just sounded a little hard on the woman that you are, to call it such. Right, right. That was not the word. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But just I, I noticed that it's um, aliveness here. Nothing to be afraid of. So the fear is... This nervousness that I thought it just if you feel it as an energy it just more aliveness mm -hmm. if you don't judge it as a, yes as being nervous yeah yeah lovely mm -hmm. <laughs> and lovely sharing thank you beautiful that's probably very supportive to many people thank you so much uh, yeah. for supporting me Appointing. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. I see we have someone over here on the screen smiling. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Canilla. Hello. Oh, thank you for doing this. This You're is very, uh, very beautiful. Um, just to follow up on this aliveness, um, I had an insight that even my neurotic, paranoid thinking, it brings me a kind of aliveness. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know why I choose that instead of the, the love aliveness, because I've experienced that as well. Mm -hmm. um so perhaps it's the same it's the same it's perhaps. coming from the same source that's right right yeah so it's, it's just that um it feels more like suffering mm. when it's the anxious kind of aliveness mm -hmm. as opposed to f very fulfilling and open when it's the loving kind of expression mm -hmm. yeah so stating yeah. a preference I hear <laughs> I have a preference yes yes see and a preference is quite soft because it doesn't um, it doesn't um, exclude that anxiety might be here in some time right it's just oh anxiety here uh, and you can locate it if it's located somewhere in the system yeah in the moment but it's like you know there's a uh, again there's a little bit of a generality uh over a bunch of moments that you're grouping together here and calling it this is how this is you know is it here in this moment no no oh. <laughs> no not right at this in this moment ah, darn but... I, wanted, I wanted to see what neuro what did you say neurotic uh Paranoid. <laughs> paranoid, yes. A neurotic paranoid energy. Oh, yum. <laughs> I know. I'm neurotic. so alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't really um, like the 
the deep groove of the pattern mm. that shows up when this kind of thinking takes hold. And so in I'm, other words, you're believing in the thinking. Yeah, I start believing my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I start believing an identity about myself mm -hmm. that's not true either. And the combination is very toxic. Mm -hmm. And I do feel it in my body. I feel it in tightness in muscles and um, shallow breathing. Mm -hmm. Or it feels like I'm holding my breath at mm -hmm. times. And um, I know I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. It's not like I don't know that this is happening. I do know mm -hmm. that I'm doing it. And so there's a part of me that can witness myself mm -hmm. because I can stand outside and say, oh, look what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm not completely immersed Right. Hundred percent. Awareness is still aware. In those yeah, moments. there is yeah. there is awareness there. Yeah, there, there is yeah. awareness when there. you're grooving in the groove. <laughs> when I'm in that groove, <laughs> and oh man, I'm just so uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm so unhappy there. Yeah, but unhappiness uh, isn't here right now, right? Moment, it's not. Un but unhappiness I, isn't here right now because you're saying that this this play of events isn't here right now, right? Unhappiness is not here right now. Right. This play of events is not happening right now. Because <laughs> we're just talking, we're just bringing it here. But there's no response in your body with speaking about it. Not really. It's a memory. Oh, okay. It's a memory. But even in the memory that you're bringing the details forth, is there also a memory of the anxiety? Or do you have any particular memory of uh, neurotic thoughts that you might get engaged with? If I want to, I could conjure them up. Oh, sure. Sure, because you know we need the actual real details to work with it, it, it to be present here. Otherwise, we're working with a general a concept. Okay, of, okay. Right? All right. So I will imagine that I am in a situation that is yes. very uncomfortable and... Okay. So I feel it in my chest. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, and can you give us some of the details of what the thought is about? Well, it's it's too personal. I don't want to oh, really okay. discuss it on Skype. <laughs> I'm Not sorry. No, no. Okay. It could be helpful because it's probably something that other people might experience. It's it, just my own insecurity. It's like, okay. I feel like I've done something wrong. Ah, okay, perfect. And I'm being yes. judged. Right. And Beautiful. I, I don't feel comfortable um, asking directly, mm -hmm. have I done something wrong? Okay. I, my first response is to shut down and then want to fight back. Okay. And I... I could be imagining the whole thing because I can't know what somebody else's experience is. That's right. You know, all so. you've got is the details. And so here's our, what I like to say, the plate of details. We have, um, right. you know, everything that you've. Yeah. So all my insecurities come rushing up and a fear of rejection yes. is strong. Yes. So where in the system is there a felt sense of being wrong? I think in my throat. Okay, are you ready to, is it okay to sit with and really allow wrongness to be here? No longer moving away from being wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of sadness comes up. Yes, yes, because we're wrong, right? Yeah. We're wrong very human to be wrong sometimes. Yeah. Mm. The wrongness is tied into rejection. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for rejection. Hello, rejection. Let's feel being rejected. Mm. Well, then it makes me want to shut my eyes and right. not see. Okay. 
Is that so. okay? So you can feel that feeling of not wanting to see, but we're still going to just, because you're still okay, right? You're sitting in a chair and oh yeah, you're I'm, okay. You're, you know, so it's good to just check that out in the midst yeah. of this and to really let rejection have you. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels like um, I'm suffocating, kind yes. of. Yeah. Just so breathing yeah. and allowing the suffocating. Yes, yes, yes to this. And breathing. Well, I feel um, numb. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like a numbness is setting in mm. in my chest. Okay. Yeah. Like my heart center is shutting down. Okay. So just feeling then the heart center shutting down. If that's what's mm -hmm. true right here, just mm -hmm. totally relaxing open the rest of the body around the heart to let whatever's happening with the heart to happen just here right now together. Is there some part of you that's rejecting your own heart? No. Okay, just checking. There's a part of me that wants to nurture. Yes. And yes. somehow Cause that hold. Could be. Yeah. And embrace. and So do so. If, however that occurs to you right now, to yeah. hold and embrace this heart that mm -hmm. has felt rejected. Mm. It's very tender. It's beautiful. Yeah. Now I can breathe deeper. <laughs> yes. So let's, uh, is it all right That's to take a look and see how the neurotic thoughts, can you bring up some more neurotic thoughts and let's see what happens. Let's see if the play event of events is, uh, follows the, the similar pattern or. No, there's a kind of innocence around myself. Yeah. Um, somebody didn't reject <laughs> yeah there's 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 a kind of uh, authentic person showing up okay so even yeah. though there's this you can bring to mind these neurotic thoughts of you know and the feeling of being wrong is that well, I've, I've, when those those thoughts come up, I I see them as like uh, pulling the curtain back on the Wizard of Oz, and it's it's, it's just not real. Yeah. I mean it. Yeah. Just right here, right now. That's what you're exposing. That's the, wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. <laughs> exposing the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, I see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's no knowing, you know, what happens next or if rejection is felt again or the feeling right. of, of, of being wrong, you know, but we are all feel wrong. It's like, it's, it's just, we hold ourselves away from, no, no, it can't be that, you know, I don't want to feel, you know, that, that, and it's true because love would say, well, we're not wrong, but we can yeah. feel wrong. Right. And let ourselves just totally feel this. 
let it pass and see what happens next. Okay. You know, and the, the thoughts may not come like you say. The, <laughs> the wizard's been exposed. And they may come in a new flavor, you know, a tilt yeah. it this way, that way for another flavor of yourself to be embraced. And, yeah. and then you beautifully embraced your own heart. Yeah. Yeah, my... Um... I will say this in the past because it's not happening right now. Yes, thank you. My, my tendency was to overthink mm -hmm. too many situations. Right. Because that gave me a false sense of control. Right. And um, right in this moment, I have to struggle to make even those sentences come out of my mouth. <laughs> But I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? I yes, mean, yeah. just yeah. talking now, Nothing's it's a story. anything, yes. <laughs> yeah, but um, I see your approach is always to be in the present moment, to embrace what the feeling sense is. Not Inclusive the, of the mind, yes. Yeah, not the thoughts. But the well, theme, we did include the thoughts here, though, right? We, we made use of them. Yes, the thoughts were like um, road signs. Yes, indicators, exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. And so they're useful because they give you some kind of um, information about where your position is or something. Yeah, they indicate something's up. Right, and they can right. Look to see, okay, what's really right. up here. Yeah. But going deeper into the, and going deeper into the feeling sense is a more, uh, it's, it's another step towards the information to come clearer into focus. And accepting the truth. Yeah. Right? Just that wrongness, the felt sense of being wrong. You know, yeah. really feeling that, whatever yeah. this, you know, and it's just happened to be true. What can you do? Right. Rejection. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't really calling on rejection, but here it is. All right. I'll be with yeah. this, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Beautiful. And you're welcome. <laughs> totally my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great, great display because, you know, just in, in that the that this is rejection right something that nobody wants to feel but in the feeling of it beautiful it was just love yeah yeah, yeah. tender thank yeah. you yeah thank you thank you richard <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to hang up and then come, go back on to my other all Thank right. you. Okay, All right. Thanks for joining bye -bye. us. Bye. Richard, you have to hang me up. You don't have any questions? No. 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 I used to have questions, but yeah. I think it's already more than them since every time you give an answer, there's another question right there. Mm -hmm. Two after after you convince yourself of an answer, there's like five questions following it. Yes. So I don't know. What's the key? I seem to be getting dropped as well as like ignore them. I don't know if that's right. Well, your way is your way, right? So if it's working, then it's working. <laughs> you know, if they're still 
rising and repeating the same question in the same way, then that would be how the universe is saying, well, here's something for you, right? So that's how the repeating, that's how we know the universe is nudging us and saying, oh, there is something here for you. It gets repeated. <laughs> You'll be offering satsang and people could come and ignore them. <laughs> and it'll work right? some way, because if it has, right? Or maybe they diminish and get softer, lighter. Yes. Yeah, this is this light, lightness, right? So, I mean, this is the enlightenment, you know. It's more of a happening. The happenings that used to be heavy or create a kerfuffle become lighter and lighter, right? Same as enjoyment, enjoyment, being in joy, enlightenment. It's becoming lighter and lighter till it no longer has any effect. This is what enlightenment is. It doesn't have effect anymore. So I don't have problems, but I don't care. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is there a danger of dismissal? I mean, I'm a, I'm a great one for dismissing. Mm -hmm. And I think that doesn't really diffuse anything. I'm just, uh, I, I carry it. I just say another day, another day. You used to, right? Or do you still dismiss? Just saying, uh, see if that's true. <laughs> And I know I don't have, I can't have, I can't answer any question. I don't have a solution to any problem. So why, why? why mm -hmm. But do you, is it's it? Serious enough, yes, I, I do contemplate that. There are millions of thoughts coming every second. Uh, yeah. Uh, probably hundreds. So Richard, no, no, Richard's no, question no. to you is, is it a dismissal? It's probably a, a loss. Lost. I can't win. Oh. So you give it up. I give it up. Yeah. Because mm. mm -hmm. there can be a freedom in giving up too. Is there a, a desire to win? No. 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 Yeah, I just connected with you because you're just smiling back there. <laughs> it's like just radiating. <laughs> I, 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 I do enjoy yes. questions from others. I can see the awareness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I think lost can be seen through. And then you're not lost. But of course, you're in the same place. But you see that lost is. Could be just that cold. I, I love that sense of love. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think in in the lostness, in the complete lostness, there's being found, right? If it's a hundred percent, I mean, that's where, um, like, where a person who offers satsang or or this sort of space, um, some people are gurus, and they do want people to follow 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 them and give themselves over to the guru. If they give themselves over a hundred percent, they can only meet themselves. So in this way, lostness and really totally being, okay, I give up, I've lost. Give up on winning, I can't win with this. And a hundred percent, I lost. That can be winning in the same way. If it's a hundred percent, you know, if it's not a giving away of yourself. And the only way we can know if it is or isn't, is do the details repeat themselves and come in a different way? Because, yeah, it's very tricky, this acceptance, right? Acceptance sometimes 
is about giving up and stop attempting to go for something that's not serving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so is anything risen from in connection with the lady that called in Anything that you'd like to? Well, actually, something something just rose in me in, in the, this last exchange, and that is the question: um, How? This is. I mean, I'm asking your opinion, but how how important is it is it to have a teacher? Yeah, it is. If it is right, you feel mm -hmm. drawn again. The heart calls, and uh, uh, in my own experience. It's not really, you'll be called to go to yourself in this form right. or that form. And it's right. really you being drawn to yourself in these different flavors. Um, so as it's a support, you know, it is. Mm -hmm. And you won't be called any longer when, uh, you know, and not to have that as a rule either. Um because, you know, after this had happened, I kind of like wondered, well, I remember uh, John DeRuiter coming to Vancouver and the felt sense was to go and join the group. And I didn't really know. I thought, well, this is interesting. What, what is, what is, what's this here? And then, you know, there's quite a bit of learning and receiving of, of a flavor of someone else's way mm -hmm. of being. Mm -hmm. So there was that. And then there was also someone in the audience there that, uh, approached me afterwards and said, who are you? And I was really drawn to you and, mm. you know, I'd like to, uh, she invited me to offer satsang. Mm. So I didn't know that that's part of what was wanting to happen there. Right. So it didn't make any real sense, but I was just, oh, well, the draw's mm -hmm. here, off I go. Mm -hmm. And that's happened quite a few times that I'll end up in some place and wonder, well, why did I feel drawn to this? It's because it's not really touching or, you know, and then something else will happen that I might, it might be on the ferry to or from going to a workshop or someone I meet for lunch. So it's really, it's really in, in the end, it's what you're, what you're drawn to, as opposed to um, the idea that that there's somebody out there who can help you, necessarily help you on your way mm -hmm. better than you could find on on your own. Yeah, all you, all it's you, never on your own, I know, but... All you can do is, is uh, find supportive places, mm -hmm. right? Like sometimes people come for Reiki sessions, they don't know why they've come, they just said they felt, and then... You know, or individual satsang sessions. So, you know, could I do that by phone and or in person? And they come and it's like, I don't know why I'm here. You know, I have no idea. I just knew to create a session and and then something like, you know, usually those ones are, are bigger happenings right. <laughs> in, in, in a lot of ways. But also at the same time, people may come for some other reason. Something's going on and it, it'll be something completely different than mm -hmm. what they... Uh, initially we were looking at to find support with so you know it can be the person i mean it can be the people in the room right so when you're called feel called or drawn to come to a, a sad saying um it can be the whole mix of the energy mm -hmm. it may not be specifically just right mm -hmm. um that it's just time to sit in the peacefulness mm -hmm. uh, in this flavor mm -hmm. um
a question was, do, do you need a teacher to, mm -hmm. to, to, on your path? But after reading, following so many people, somewhere I've heard or uh, I read that if the time is right, teacher will find you. So, uh, the only reason I'm saying that is, okay, I've convinced myself that, okay, nothing to do. If time is right, things will happen. Yes. Uh, uh, probably not 100% convinced, but <laughs> <laughs> I've convinced myself. Yeah, and it's just to include yeah. how it shows up for yes, you, so. right? Because that's how you probably ended up here today, right? right? And uh, just how things fall open, you can be directed and listen to that and then sometimes it really is just from inside yourself and you just kind of oh okay i'll just go and see what's here right and the reason i mentioned that is it, i think the minute i process that thought if i have to process it ever have to process it it eases me down it, okay it's there's no rush mm -hmm. uh, it, it'll happen on its own accord if what, whatever needs to happen uh, mm -hmm. and then so just it, being it, yeah, I, i'm a little more relaxed with that thought Okay. Whatever will happen, your anxiety isn't going to make it go better or worse. Well, so that's one reason just to let, let off the pedal. Whether there's magic and hocus pocus working, you don't really need that either. Unless you do. You need reality, but you don't need an idea about it. And it's sometimes uh, I'm just sharing this uh, for the sake of it. Sometimes I'm anxious, and I, I really like being anxious. So, so, so stuck in traffic, it's it's mostly an uneasy feeling. But sometimes I like to be. I know I I can. How should I phrase this in words? Things that are happening, and I'm just participating. But sometimes I like to. Play the drama of acting mm -hmm. instead of participating. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it gives a really strong sense of existing. Right. Isn't it? You exist because look. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Going with it. Like an excitement there, isn't yeah, it's just excited. It's the rush. Yeah. And sometimes, though, that that can, uh, you know, to check out whether or not it is the best. For the system, because that can be a bit of an adrenaline. Well, who cares? Well, if it, adrenaline is, you know, turned on, it can be very hard on on the system, and then it, there would be a need to uh, take care afterwards. Um, uh, yeah. So, in, in a caring of yourself, too, I just invite that. But I hear what you're saying, that just allowing the play. Just. Yeah, being caught up in it all. And, yeah. Yeah, and sometimes that's just what's happening, yeah? So, sometimes, uh, and my wife really gets upset about this. Uh, up until uh, now. <laughs> up until now. Uh, I really, last few, two, three years, I really consciously get mad at her. At her? At, well, this... Mm, you can't just get consciously mad at uh, your neighbor. No, no, uh, but she provokes anger alive in you. Is that what you're saying? Well, well I decided I, did, I choose to be angry sometimes mm -hmm. and see how it plays out. Mm. But it's towards her, and is she willing? No, I'm uh, I'm not angry, angry. I'm, I'm just acting it out for half hour or so or two hours. And I tell her, and just, that makes her. You, you, <laughs> you tell her before or after? After. <laughs> after, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes energy just needs to be fired off, you know? And then you can say, oh, that was just that. And is she become more okay with that, though? No, she's not okay with either of them, but. <laughs> right, right. Because there's another uh, possibility of what anger can be utilized, right? Just like we can use thoughts. Uh, to to access energies uh, where they attach within the system. Um, 
anger is a very wonderful, strong, passionate paint. Uh, like that's how I like to use it, like a paint. Um, so in in something that you were, are inviting in your life, you can. What are you inviting in your life? I can give you a direct example that way, so that if anger shows up, you have a place to put it, because it's valuable, right? And if she's not really interested in receiving it, it's wonderful to create another container where you can put it should it rise. So, but first you need something that you want to put it towards. Mm -hmm. What would you like more of in your life? Nothing specific arises. More love? More joy? More joy. More joy? Okay. Then when the anger comes up, you can put it right into, I love that there's even more joy blossoming in my life from every direction. I love it. Right? You take that actual energy, live it like you're saying, right? You let it run and let it have its full fruition, but put it into a direction that's supportive to you, whatever the calling is, right? Towards your own awakening. You know, I love it. And just take that energy and just put it right into that because it's a strong energy and it's just energy. So it's just learning. And it takes a little bit to learn to play with it in the moment that it's happening because it, it will tend to want to follow its old course possibly mm -hmm. you know uh, so it's like then having this statement whatever it is that you're inviting you you want to get that fairly strong and fool around with it a little bit um, by consciously allowing anger to come placing it in the new container and doing that a few times so that when anger shows up in a natural happening you don't have to think about the container you can already say i love that it's going towards even more joy in my life i love it do you understand no, 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 I, I do now thinking through it uh, now i realized i don't know how how this started happening but it's last few years it's been happening i've, I've been acting out anger mm -hmm. consciously on purpose now i see the results of those so when i act out that's fine my, my wife could get my wife doesn't understand the difference or someone else doesn't understand the difference but but now when i get angry really angry uh, uh, it's more controllable and it's more compassionate mm -hmm. and i don't explode mm -hmm. it's not so wild it's it's not so wild yeah so. Yeah, so this is perfect because then that way you can then take this wonderful stallion and support him to move that force in, in a way of love or joy for yourself. And it, it does, you know, that then it's, it's very conscious to actually allow it to come and place it in there. And you can do it through purposely in meditation, bringing up the energy. Uh, but it's getting that statement nice and clear so that when it comes wildly or or not, you know, uh, forcefully in the moment, you have a place rather than towards your wife, especially because she's giving you the information, the feedback that she's not appreciating it. <laughs> if she was, if she was able to receive it and just take it as a, a cleansing energy for healing for herself, right. then that could be. Right? So we can take these energies and we can play with them until they too are purposefully uh, playing out as love. So that even anger is okay. Yeah. Because that's what part of what you're finding, right? That's what it seems like you're sharing that even anger is okay. And that's true. I agree. Thank you. Wow, it's five o'clock. All right, wow. Any last little bit before we sing a couple songs that wants to be spoken? So was, was that your story uh, traveling to Disneyland? 
over a bus trip? Uh, I did go to Disneyland, yeah. I went to yeah, Disney World. I saw a bit of that movie. In Conscious Geek. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I went to Disneyland in California and Disney World, so I'm not sure. I can't really remember what all I shared on that interview. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Um, I believe that there was somebody said that they really liked the song that we sang last night. So we'll sing that. I'd like to sing two songs today, um, or now. We'll sing this, Come, Come, Whosoever You Are, right? And you're inviting yourself and those people that are with us uh, online to sing this to yourself. And even though it might feel funny to sing all by yourself where you are, I invite you to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so singing this uh, and we'll sing the other song after so inviting more of yourself alive right? it's like we, we're, we're here in this body and we're taking off these layers and finding new layers and as we take the layers off we find more space and that which is next to be healed has space to rise so it's an ongoing process it's not to get to some place because when there's more space Whatever's next to heal will rise in the space, right? And this will just keep occurring. And as this occurs, the uh, essence of who you are becomes more and more rich and full. And, uh, yeah. So you're calling yourself the love that you are, the expression of awareness that you are, more and more alive, embodied here. So sing along as you uh, know the tune. <laughs> come, 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 whosoever you are. Come, 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 whosoever you are. And even though you may have broken your vows a thousand times, and even though you may have broken your vows a thousand times, come, 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 whosoever you are, come, 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 Whosoever you are, and even though you may have broken your vows a thousand times, and even though you may have broken your vows a thousand times, come, 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 whosoever you are. Come, 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 whosoever you are. And even though you may have broken your vows a thousand times, and even though you may have broken your vows a thousand times, Love, 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 whosoever you are. Love, 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 whosoever you are. This next song is um, Krishna Das version of um, Hare Krishna, 
And I'd like to invite that, uh, as you sing this song, that you're uh, singing in in uh, celebration of the divine masculine, uh, this that is in play here. Right? The, maybe my view on it is a little pagan, uh, in that uh, seeing the absolute as the feminine, and that which emerges in it is the masculine, you know, at play. Um, so it's this action. So there's both parts of you, the feminine that's receiving all that is in every moment it's receiving. And then the masculine, the part that's playing, supporting, dancing. Yeah. So singing this in celebration of the divine masculine that you are. <clears throat> it's the Hare Krishna waltz. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, 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 Hare Hare. Thank you. Thank you all for coming here today. And, and thank you everyone online for coming today. Wonderful <sighs> to be with you. <laughs>